me through getting Tab to come in and where the field opened up for you. Oh, I feel like uh, it's part of the game plan, you know. So when you're sitting on the bench too, it doesn't mean like you don't uh, think about what's going on the pitch, which weakness you think you can use to help the team. So I think that's what I, I do. And like if I'm sitting on the bench, it doesn't mean I'm not thinking about getting in and do something different with the team. So yeah, I feel like that's the best thing that I think of doing. How did that perspective from the bench help you when you did come in and see where there were, whether it was weaknesses from Loudon or weaknesses from your team that you needed to fill? Yeah, it's, first, you know, the, one of the main things is like the tire. So if I have to use my pace on them, and then it's good for me to just like run and get the ball and put it in the back of the net. So that's my aim when I get it. So, yeah. Came and hit them with your energy. Yeah. How do you adjust, whenever you hit the pitch, how do you adjust to what's already happening in game action? First of all, you have to like get a good touch with the ball first. And so you get the pace of the, the others that are within the pitch. So you, your mindset has to be like, okay, I'm already in. I have to be on the same pace with them. So you have to keep your mind focused, and you have to like play like you, you started the game. And so to to reach the the goal that the other guys really have, so that's what's really important that helps. You. And how do you adjust? You've been playing soccer after this for a long time. How do you adjust from coming off the bench in an energy role to actually being on the pitch for 90 minutes? It's it's all in the mindset. Like you sitting on the bench, you have to be thinking like, oh, if I get in, whatever chance I have, I have to put it in the back of the net. As a striker, you know, you have to think about that, like helping the team in any way or the other. Like you have to be on the same pitch with everyone. It doesn't mean like you're sitting on the bench and your mind is going to be somewhere. Your mind has to be on the field, like thinking about what you're going to do. The spirit has been helping the team. You're going to have a really tough stretch, about three games in the bound. Uh, a week and change. How are you planning to adjust? Obviously, focusing on sun Saturday, but from game to game, how do you adjust? How do you stay fresh? I think now it's the time for you to be professional. Like you gotta know what to do, know how to take up your body because the stretch is gonna be like we need everyone. So you have to know at what time you're going to bed, at what time you're eating. So that helps you also hydrate yourself so you can like get the muscles loosened and then you can go. Like, Two days, three days, after the next game, the next game. So I feel that's what we need right now, like stretching out. I want to ask you about this last portion of practice too, the individual development side of it. What do you like about that when you get that moment to kind of pinpoint what you want to work on and have that time carved out to do it? Well, actually, I give credit to the coach, you know, for because we have like an IDP after that, so you're gonna work on like if you're not good doing the week. Like before this, that we have to practice the muscles of scoring, then now you have the opportunity to get the confidence back to prepare for Saturday. So now you have to, like, no pressure, and you know, you have to get your mind in and get the goals in the back of the net. So, whatever thing you need, dribble or stuff like that, you need to get it today. So, you boost your confidence and go Saturday. Have there been a lot of teams you've been with in the past who have had specific portions of practice carved out? For that, or is that kind of unique for Harry? No, I think it's it's different with Harry. You know? like, he has a different way of making you work hard. And so I think that's what's more, really different about him. Like that. One last one, one last one. You, this is obviously the last home match before you hit the road. What's it like to take the field in front of these fans? Um, I just like being that they're not going to be with us during the road. You just need to keep praying for us. Keep. Uh, keep like pushing us you know like you know because i feel like they are still with us when we go on the road because I, I see a lot of feedbacks like fans watching the game and, you know even on my media i see people telling me messages you know you gotta do this gotta do that i feel like they should keep doing that like help us you know?